Meet new MiG-35 Special Multi-Role Fighter Jet after upgrade. Compared to the MiG-29, the MiG-35 has the advantage of having more integrated advanced avionics, a heavier and more durable fuselage, and it comes with 3D thrust vectoring that enables highly agile navigation. The MiG-35 is a multi-role fighter that can use precision-guided weapons to attack and destroy land and sea targets. The upgraded version of the MiG-35 fighter will feature a new cockpit and radar with active phased array antennas, as well as changes in the shape of the airframe. The general manager of United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, added that after the completion of the upgrade, the MiG-35 will be offered to India and a few other countries. The Mikoyan MiG-35 Fulkramov is a Russian multi-role fighter that is designed by Mikoyan, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. Marketed as a 4 generation jet fighter, it is a further development of the MiG-29M-M2 and MiG-29K-KUB fighters. According to a Russian defense industry source, the Mikoyan MiG-35 is essentially an upgraded variant of the MiG-29KR. Many consider MiG-35 a new name given by Mikoyan for marketing. The first prototype was a modification of the aircraft that previously served as a MiG-29M2 model demonstrator given temporary name MiG-35 but a later prototype was a different model with different equipment that served as the base for the MiG-35 as is known today. Mikoyan first officially presented the MiG-35 internationally during the 2017 Moscow Air Show. the first two serial production aircraft entered service in 2019. The single-seat version is designated MiG-35S and the two-seat version MiG-35UB. The fighter has vastly improved avionics and weapon systems compared to early variants of MiG-29, notably new precision-guided targeting capability and the uniquely designed optical locator system, which relieves the aircraft from relying on ground-controlled interception systems and enables it to conduct independent multi-role missions. Serial production aircraft use a PESA radar and there is also an option available for AESA radar. The serial production aircraft does not have thrust vectoring control as previously planned. New MiG-35 On January 26, 2017, Mikoyan demonstrated the new MiG-35 to Russian government, in a widely publicized event with subsequent demonstration for export customers was carried out the next day. Significant upgrades on the MiG-35 include a completely new fly-by-wire flight control system, vastly improved cockpit, substantially upgraded avionics and integrated precision-guided targeting capability for air-to-ground weapons. MiG-35 is fitted with a Russian non-removable NPKSPP OLSK electro-optical targeting and surveillance system pod, mounted directly to the aircraft below the right, starboard, fuselage on the engine nacelle in front of the elevators. This marked an overall design philosophy that provides an enhanced degree of operational autonomy on the MiG-35 compared to earlier Russian combat aircraft. In July 2017, during the MAKS 2017 International Aviation and Space Salon, the Russian Defense Ministry agreed it will buy 24 MiG-35s as a part of the new state armament program for 2018-2027. Six out of the 24 MiG-35s will replace the aging MiG-29s of the Russian Swift aerobatic team. On August 22, 2018, during the International Military Technical Forum Army 2018, the first contract for six MiG-35s was signed. The Russian Aerospace Forces plans to sign a second contract for delivery of 14 MiG-35s in 2020. On June 17, 2019, Russian Aerospace Forces received the first two serially produced MiG-35s, marking the introduction of the variant into service. On MAKS 2019, Mikoyan unveiled a full-scaled mock-up of MiG-35 with revised tailfin aimed for export market. According to Tarasenko, the new version features further refined geometry of the airframe, upgraded Klimov RD-33 MK engines with thrusted full afterburner of 9 tons, an advanced electro-optical reconnaissance system, and an active array ASA, radar capable of tracking up to 30 targets simultaneously. Additionally, RAC MiG's press release also mentions renewed mission equipment and other improvements made to meet the requirements of potential foreign customers. The mock-up also featured a new head-up display with extra-wide field of view, part of a new mission equipment suite from Ramanskoy PKB. Initial Flight Testing By April 2010, pictures and additional information surfaced of two new MiG-35 demonstrators, the single-seat MiG-35-961 and the two-seat MiG-35-D-967. 
According to Russian media, they first flew in autumn of 2009 and subsequently took part in MMRCA trials in India in October 2009. Both have a very high commonality with the previous MiG-29K-KUB airframes, an immediate visible difference being the braking parachute installed in place of the hook, present on the naval aircraft. Subsequently, the MiG-35D-967 appears to have been equipped with a similar ASA radar as fitted to the older MiG-35 Demonstrator 154, identifiable by the dark grey short nose radome. On September 6, 2016, according to the general designer of the United Aircraft Corporation Sergei Karatkov, first MiG-35s were to be delivered in November 2016 to the Russian Air Force for flight testing to confirm the technical characteristics of the aircraft. First of the two aircraft, single-seat MiG-35-702 made its first flight on November 24, 2016, followed by double-seater MiG-35UB-712 in December 2016. On January 26, 2017, MiG officially demonstrated one of the two pre-production aircraft, MiG-35UB-712, to the Russian government, followed by subsequent demonstration for export customers on the next day. The newly presented MiG-35 appeared to be a bit different than the one unveiled in 2007, the aircraft was allegedly equipped with neither AESA radar nor with thrust vectoring control, supposedly to keep procurement costs low so as not to deter foreign customers. In July 2017, the Director General of the MiG, Ilya Tarasenko, told the press, we are now testing, and after the results will begin mass production. Serial production will begin within the next two years. In February 2017, it was announced contract was signed to build another two pre-production aircraft that will join the testing. It was also expected state trials will begin at Chkalov State Flight Test Center in Aktubinsk the same year. In February 2018, MiG Aircraft Corporation announced that it had completed factory trials of the MiG-35, the certificate of the trial's completion having been signed in December 2017. In May 2018, Head of the United Aircraft Corporation Yuri Slyuser reported that state trials of the MiG-35 had begun. In April 2019, MiG-35 UB-11 first took off to join the testing. This is first of the two additional pre-production aircraft ordered in February 2017. In May 2021, MiG-35 has received a preliminary certificate for the limited series production even as it is undergoing state joint trials, Director of the MiG-29M and MiG-35 Aircraft Programs Directorate at the MiG Aircraft Corporation, Mushek Baloyan was quoted as saying by TASS on May 5, 2021. Design The MiG-35-MiG-35D incorporate advancements of the MiG-29K-KUB and MiG-29M-M2 fighters in combat efficiency enhancement universality and operational characteristics improvement. The main features of the new design are the fifth-generation information sighting systems, compatibility with Russian and foreign weapons applications and an integrated variety of defensive systems to increase combat survivability. The new overall design overtakes the design concepts of the baseline model and enables the new aircraft to conduct full-scale multi-role missions as their Western counterparts. New avionics are intended to help the MiG-35 gain air superiority as well as to perform all-weather precision ground strikes, aerial reconnaissance with optoelectronic and radar equipment and to conduct complex joint missions. This includes the RD-33 MK engines and the newly designed optical locator system, OLS-35. The number of weapon stations has increased to 9, similar to MiG-29 M2, flight range has increased by 50%, and radar visibility has been reduced. The final configuration of the MiG-35's onboard equipment has been left open intentionally using the MILSTD-1553 bus. Maximum payload is 6. 5 tons. Engines. The MiG-35 is powered by two FADEC RD-33 MK Morske OSA, Russian, literally, see Wasp or Chiron X Fleckery, turbofans. The RD-33 MK is a highly improved variant and the latest version of the Klimov RD-33 turbofan and was intended to power the MiG-29K and MiG-29 KUB. It has 7% more power compared to the baseline model due to the use of modern materials in the cooled blades, providing a higher thrust of 9000 kgf. In response to earlier criticism, the new engines are smokeless and include systems that reduce infrared and optical visibility.